Do you want to learn Revit? Or you need training material for your business? Join thousands of users and download the Revit Pure Basics Learning Package. It is the most fun and efficient way to learn Revit. It contains an ebook, video tutorials, a template, and an exercise project. Learn more at revitpure.com basics or check the link in the description below. In Revit, railings are created by drawing a purple path line. In the railing type properties, you can specify the distance of each element to the purple line. However, you need to understand the difference between hand clearance and offset. The hand clearance value is used by the top rail, handrail and supports. It represents the distance between the purple path line and the beginning of the rail. In theory, it is the width of the hole in which you can place your hand to grab the rail. For elements such as intermediate rails, balusters and posts, you have to set an offset value. This value represents the distance between the purple railing path and the center of the element. Let's see where you can change these values. Select the railing and click on Edit Type. Click on the three small dots to modify the top rail properties. The hand clearance value is right here. In this case, it has a negative value. This is half of the top rail width and it is used so the rail center matches the purple railing path. You can use the process to access the handrail hand clearance value. This is where the value should usually match code requirement. Let's have a look at other railings elements. Intermediate rails are using offset values instead of hand clearance. Same thing for balusters and posts. In this case, we have multiple examples of railings with different hand clearance values. Let's modify the top rail properties of the first one. Something interesting is that the hand clearance value is automatically adjusted when you switch the profile use. It is to make sure that the rail is centered on the purple path line. You can have a look at this other example of a railing that uses both a top rail and a handrail. We can see we use hand clearance values of 100 mm for the top rail and 200 mm for the handrail. If you are creating a railing type that only contains a handrail that is placed on a wall, you should always place the purple boundary directly on the wall. This way the hand clearance will be accurate. In this example, we create a handrail and modify the hand clearance to fit the code requirement of 150 mm. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the basics learning package.